It is a journey that Stephanie Masaki started in 2017 after companies reported losing a lot of employees to mental illnesses. Speaking to the media while premiering a film Toxicity in Mombasa, Masaki said Kenyan Africans generally term mental health as a Western disease and not practical in the continent. I realize that we don't like to talk about some things, you know, like we have a certain culture of keeping quiet about some things and, and we have kept quiet so long about mental health. Mpaka, you find that depression has actually killed a lot of people you know, indirectly and even sometimes directly because people go as far as committing suicide. Like how do you even, um, how do you even explain why someone who has it all just wakes up one morning and just starts to commit suicide? How do you explain an eight-year-old committing suicide? I mean, why, what converse, why are we not having this conversation? Stephanie, who does her advocacy through arts and theatre, said it's time can you embrace a culture of conversation about mental health. She called upon corporate to support the mental health talks to ensure the message goes to everyone, advising on the fact that mental health is a sensitive subject that targets small numbers of people. I mean, everybody, this is a conversation for everyone. It doesn't target a specific group of people, it targets everyone. So I think um, this is a message to everyone. And mental health, uh, mental illnesses affect children as little as months and even one year, two years. But we are always having conversation with adults, forgetting the kids. There are so many people who've had, who've, who've had uh, suicidal thoughts. And I would like to say that there is no shame in sharing. And that is the message I always try to spread. There is no shame in sharing. Just share. You know, because so many people feel like they'll, they'll be judged when they say uh, they're going through depression. Costa Rican Film Classification Board Manager Bonfis Kiyoko hinted that COVID-19 has had negative impact on youth employment, saying the future looks bright after some youth get together and produce informative, educative and entertaining pieces on topical issues including mental health. So when the youths youth come together in this manner to communicate to the world, to communicate to the country about those activities, those happenings, it is quite encouraging and as government we are taking it very serious. You understand that even the president is very serious on issues to do with gender-based violence, domestic violence, and it is now the responsibility of we, Kenya Film Classification Board, and the youths within this region to drive that agenda through creating awareness and art is part of the most possible ways of telling those messages. He reiterated that the creative industry and the art is a very rewarding enterprise when taken seriously, hence advocating for youth to come together into groups and produce clean content. We are guiding them through policies to ensure that they produce clean content content that is just good for general viewership, which is quite commendable. These youths want to tell the message about gender-based violence. They want to tell the message about domestic violence. They want to tell the message about involvement of youth in development activities through heart. Reporting for Ibru TV, I'm Dolly Mirigi.